Jim here. I, uh, it's the morning, uh, Saturday morning. I got to the uh, put-in parking area about 2.30 yesterday afternoon and it was just hot. Hot, hot, hot. So I uh, took my time getting everything staged and loaded and then I took off into Smy. And I'm now at the uh, campsite just before the last portage into Wilkie. I got here late, really late. The sun was down, going down, just setting. And uh, I got the tarp, I mean, I got the hammock set up. And then the I started uh, putting the tarp up and I got it open, but I didn't get it staked out and the rain hit. So I had to stake it out in the rain. And then run around getting everything covered up as best I could. And then I just crawled in the hammock and went to bed. I didn't have any dinner. I didn't have enough water. But I've had breakfast this morning. Uh, two uh, servings of oatmeal. I've got my tea. And uh, the morning fog is just burning off now. It was really thick earlier. You couldn't see. Today I'm going to go into Flint and camp on Flint. Okay, this is Jim. Morning of technically day one, Saturday. And I'm signing off. Okay, it's uh, Saturday afternoon and I'm at my Flint Lake campsite. I have my tarp and the hammock set up. And uh, I got the boat tied down, and uh, I'm going to uh, bathe myself and my clothing now. So, but no one has been at this campsite. No one has been at this campsite since I was here last August. And uh, as I as I came up, um, we find that the place is looking exactly as I left it. Even my poles from my chair are there. So I will be sitting in my chair uh, after I am done. My firewood is cut and ready. And uh, we're gonna take, take it easy here for a couple of days. Uh, tomorrow they're calling for rain, so I think what I'll do is just uh, lay low here. I'll cook dinner tonight and uh, and then we'll see what we're going to do about galt. I had to cut my way through from Smy into Wilkie. Uh, there were three or four pretty big blowdowns and then um, at the Wilkie to Flint I had to cut my way into the portage. There were uh, three or four trees that were uh, that had fallen across the portage just just as you got off the boat. And then at the other end, there was another uh, couple of trees that were uh, across right where the uh, the wooden uh, riprap is, uh, corduroy, the wooden corduroy. So I cut those and I added a little bit of corduroy. Okay, Saturday afternoon, and uh, this is Jim. Signing off. <clears throat> well, good morning. It's, um, what day is it? Sunday. Sunday. And it's a, uh, overcast, dreary day. Big, big blow last night. Lightning, thunder, wind, 
lots of rain, heavy duty rain. And then this morning, it was raining and the wind blew. Uh, the wind was blowing from the east. I'm looking east right now and the wind was blowing from the east really howling and it blew water uh, under my tarp and got my underquilt damp and that was not good uh, so I got out of the hammock and uh, it was dawn maybe around dawn I squinched down the tarp and uh, I used the the adjusting prusik loops from underneath the tarp, but I had to get out and actually bring the, the ridge line down. Um, but all is well. I, uh, I got everything situated and it was uh, just missed and there's a DWR coating on the, the hammock gear underquilt, so that's good. But I couldn't get a fire started this morning. I have all kinds of birch bark, but everything is soaked. And I mean squeezing, you can squeeze water out of the out of the little twigs. It's so wet. So wet. So I'm using my Elky burner for breakfast. Having my tea. I've had oatmeal for breakfast yesterday, oatmeal for breakfast today. I had uh, nice beef stroganoff with noodles uh, last night for dinner. And I ate the whole thing. I was really hungry. And uh, got my chair set up, as you can see. Beautiful chair. I love my chair. Oh, man, oh, man. I'm just going to hunker down here today. I'm not going to get anything done. I'm just going to sit and read. And uh, I really hate, I really hate this being alone. I really do not like this. I wish I had a, a companion with me. Because this camping alone is not, that's not really fun. I like to camp. But I like to have people with me. So, I don't know. Well, getting into the entry point uh, on Friday was interesting. The, the water is really high, and there's the, a little creek that you got to cross. It's maybe six feet wide. And uh, the ruts, the tire ruts, go down into the water and up. There's a center rock that you can walk and stay out of the water. So I, I kind of turned the car so that I was had the left wheels on that rock, center rock. And I, and I kind of went along, scraping along the, the bushes there. But I did get in. Getting out, we shall see. Again, uh, with all the rain, that you know, I'm figuring that water is going to be up. So, I'm tired. I had a long day yesterday. I had a long day on Friday. My knee hurts. But uh, with this chair, I'm in good shape. I'm just going to sit and read one of my books today and watch life go by. Oh, I really don't like being here all alone, though. Anyway... This is Jim on a cool, overcast, damp Sunday. And uh, I saw the forecast before I came in, and it looks like it's going to rain all day today. And then it'll be a good travel day tomorrow, Monday. So I'll travel Monday. I'll either go out, back to the car or I'll travel across the lake to the, to the uh, Galt Portage. I don't know. All right. Maybe it's the gloomy weather that's got me down. I don't know. But anyway, that's how I'm feeling. Okay. This is Jim. Signing off. I have had my fun If I don't